Shame. We all know what it is. Your face gets flushed, perhaps, or at least feels that way. You're embarrassed, either mildly or greatly. You feel insecure about yourself as you go through the world. Maybe you're good at hiding your shame. Maybe you're good at hiding the fact that you feel like something's really broken inside, like you'll never be enough, you're not good enough, and somehow underneath it all, everybody can tell, everybody knows. You're filled to the brim with shame, aren't you? Because you've been telling yourself a story all these years about who you are and why you're the way you are. Something happened a long time ago, and you've clung to that as your identity, telling yourself that you don't deserve love, that you don't deserve success, that you don't deserve happiness. You know what? It's a big lie. It's not that those things didn't happen. It's not that I would even have them not have happened for you, just as I would not have exchanged any of my history for a different history. All the things that happen to us go into making us who and how we are. Give us resources, expand us, teach us, grow us, make us bigger and better. You know, there's a, a Japanese pottery repair process. They take broken pottery and they take the veins of the breaks and they fill those veins with gold or with silver. And now what looks like a throwaway pot has become something of increased value. That's the way I see our stories. They give us increased value, but we have to mine the gold and the silver of them. We have to figure out how they move through us in a way that makes us even more beautiful and more valuable than we could have been without those histories. I could teach you how to do that. You don't have to live with shame for the rest of your life. You can be proud of where you came from, who you are, how you are, and happy about where you're going.